before. He was a little bit uppish, but he found the gap. And that's all that he needed to do. Dropped. Little chance to Adam Gilchrist, who seems surprised by it. Having to go back down, having stood up initially, it was a difficult opportunity, but it, it certainly was one he'd reckon to catch, what? Seven, eight out of ten? Well, that's a good catch. Marcus Truskovic has gone. No ball is called, he hasn't gone. And Truskovic only just woke up to the moment. Scampered for his ground when he saw Mark Benson uh, had stuck the arm out. He hadn't heard the call either. Oh, dear me. It's not a racy start, but it's a reliable one from England. 26 for no wicket, 6 to Triscothic and uh, 10 to Strauss. 10 overs of intense cricket, but uh, so far so good for the home side. Ricky Ponting following Michael Vaughan's lead and deciding that he'll take his first power play set of five overs with field in restriction straight after the first ten quite get hold of it Andrew Strauss but it's running downhill and quickening up with this afternoon sun and will run all the way for four you just cannot bowl short at Headingley the ball sits up waiting to be smacked. Mr. Gillespie, you've got to realise that and realise it quick, else his game will get away from Australia. <laughs> well, new bowler brings up the 50, but again, both batsmen realising from Australia's batting, you sit on the back foot, you wait for the short ball, and then you put it away. 61 without loss after 15 England, and Rudy Kurtzen signalling the third power play. So that means there's just five overs remaining of field restrictions. Yeah. Oh, that's not smart cricket, that. Really, that's... Uh, a bit of frustration there from backward point. Australia not getting any wickets. It goes for four runs. Yeah, a little bit off the toe end, I think. It was very, very wide from Gillespie. And Treskoff, they just throwing the hands at it with no great footwork. And that's why it came off near the bottom of the blade. As easy as you like, just helped on its way by Marcus Trescothic. 20 overs gone, wonderful start for England, 86 for no wicket, 134 runs remaining for victory and plenty of time to do it. Conditions this afternoon totally different from what they were this morning. Can't emphasise enough that this was a wonderful toss for England to win. Perfect bowling conditions this morning and when it's their turn to bat, out comes the sun. Now, Australia keeping their options open in the field. They've declared their substitute, and that is Brad Hogg. And he's been brought on to substitute for Matthew Hayden. But Hayden, in fact, is still on the field. He's deputising for the injured Shane Watson, who pulled a muscle when he was in the course of bowling. And he's now currently having physio in the dressing room, and Australia hope he might be able to recover and come back and bowl later in the innings. So here's the first instance of a, an official 12th man being allowed to bowl in a one-day international. Brad Hogg coming into the attack, and Australia need some trickery from him because, at the moment, they're struggling. Ah! Big appeal, and Hogg has done the trick. He's the leading wicket-taker for Australia in this series, and he's taken another victim. Strauss, attempting the reverse sweep, gets a little edge. First time he's attempted the reverse sweep, when he was going along nicely, you feel he didn't need to do this. So the wrong option there from Strauss. Handy 41, 101 for one. Trescothi on 49. And now 50. Well played. Run, run, run. 
it'll race away. Nicely played by Tress Gothic and four runs. Behind the air, that's going to go all the way. Very big hit there from Tress Gothic. That'll be four. There's a good stroke by Michael Vaughan. Oh! Is that out? Oh, well, they think it's out for sure. And Rudy Kutzen doesn't. I've got to say that, to me, there were two clear noises and Triscothic is a lucky man. Fantastic. And again, brilliance from the England captain. And Ricky Ponding hasn't had an easy time of it since Australia came to England. And one of the problems has been the form of Jason Gillespie. 40 overs gone and England 173 for one, need just 47 to win the game. They've certainly batted well enough to do so. Glorious. It really is a glorious stroke. Fifty to Michael Vaughan, and that single also brings up two hundred for England. Down the ground and four. There it is. The first time Marcus Treskothic has scored a hundred against Australia in both one day internationals and test match cricket it's a big moment for him <laughs> he's murdered that what a way to bring up the victory from the england captain crushing nine wicket defeat for australia their heaviest in one-day internationals against England.